Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So you guys have been wanting me to talk about this whole Malik Yoba situation, honey. When I tell you, I've been trying to keep up. It's been more and more stuff just being tied to this story as, you know, the days have gone on. So if you guys don't know, I think it was about a week, week and a half ago, a young man was trending on social media. Basically, he was a young man who admitted to dating a trans woman. And people were bullying him online. They were bullying him out in the streets of Philadelphia, making fun of him, saying that he's gay and all this other stuff. You know, you're really dating a man, all that. So anyways, this young man... His name was Maurice Willoughby. He was 20 years old. He ended up uh, overdosing, okay? He ended up killing himself by overdosing um, because of, I guess, the bullying and the fact that his girlfriend left him. So um, at that point, Malik Yoba decided to step up and step out of the damn closet, okay? He literally decided to give New York Undercover a whole new damn meaning, okay? He came out them damn covers, honey, and let the world know this is who he is. He's attracted to trans women and all that stuff, you know what I mean? And so anyhow... When he announced this to the world, of course, it went viral. Everybody and their mama had an opinion. But I thought it was really brave of him to come out and just state it for what it was, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what he posted. Go ahead and check this out. So he posted, Philadelphia man dies by suicide after video goes viral of him defending his relationship with his trans girlfriend. So he says, attention black and all men, this is not okay. This video is another heartbreaking example of homophobia and transphobia, hatred and hypocrisy. We as black folks, black men in particular, have to name, face, and do the work to heal. This is exactly why I will be at Trans March on DC, hosting a workshop called Love Plus Trauma and the Trans Experience on September 27th, 2009. His name was Maurice, Reese Willoughby, a 20-year-old baby who killed himself from apparent drug overdose after his girlfriend left him due to abuse. Clearly as evidence in this video, this young man was confident in his choice to love, but the uninformed young men around him haven't been taught by us that love is love and acceptance of trans love is okay, and bullying has nothing to do with masculinity or heterosexual behavior. Ultimately, his mental and emotional health will not was not intact enough and the fragility of his life as he saw it was too much to bear. Oftentimes, this type of shame and ridicule can lead to the murders of women of the trans experience. Not okay. Clearly, he didn't get the support of his peers who think that toxicity equals masculinity and humanity. That being a real man means that we have to disrespect to mean those that find themselves attracted to women of the trans experience. The fact that he was trans attracted and presumably and presumably meant that he had no safe space to go find support that he needed to learn to navigate the love of women of the trans experience in that world. Constantly tells you that you're wrong. Trans people deserve love and respect, as do those of us that love them. I love all women and count myself amongst those that find themselves trans attracted. I too have felt the self-imposed shame that comes with that truth, but it's time to speak up. It's not about genitalia or sex but about attraction to the soul and the humanity of the individual and often the beauty that is in the courage and conviction to live one's truth. As a self-identified cis hetero man, I too am learning what it means to be trans attracted. Many of us famous and otherwise that have struggled with accepting our attraction, we do nothing, this must change. So that is what Malik Yoba wrote. Um, and then soon after that, a trans woman named Mariah Lopez Ebony took to Facebook and she wrote a long dissertation about how Malik Yoba had basically been having sex with her and, you know, whatever else um, from the time she was like 13 or 14 that he was attracted to really young trans people and using them. And she also went on video and made these claims as well. I'm going to go ahead and play this for you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So first, Mariah Lopez says, surviving Malik Yoba. We had sex when I was just a teen. For all you who applaud and salute Malik Yoba for revealing he is so-called trans attracted, understand that either because of a deeper issue he has or because of society pushing him and others to deep, dark places, his admission to being, to being sexually attracted to trans women is bound to open up Pandora's box for him. Not because the women are trans, but because many of the trans women he engaged in sexual exploration and exploitation with on 14th Street, Times Square, and everywhere else were minors, including myself. I started seeing him personally 
with my own two eyes cruising around the meatpacking district. <laughs> Who would a name? Cruising around the meatpacking district and the village in a large black jeep looking for trans femme sex workers. He preferred black trans girls, pretty slim girls, but would pick up a Latina if she was put together and or look mixed. This was close to 20 years ago, and I can still remember it like yesterday. I also remember the day a friend of mine said real cool like she was known to do, walk down the block, just go, he wants you. You always remember celebrity clients. It's like time slows down. You remember every detail, blood pounding, he's cute, he's polite, don't get me wrong, but I'm sure he knew what he was doing was wrong. New York Undercover was still on TV. I remember living in group homes and being in institutions and giggling when he and the actor who played his part partner would flash across the TV screen. Most group homes didn't have cables, so New York Undercover was the only show on basic NY channels were the staple. Some of the other kids could tell something was up. I knew they'd never believe my story anyways. And while child sex abuse laws means Malik will have to face the music, sorry to burst a lot of folks' bubbles, and I don't give a fuck who doesn't believe me or feels like I'm trying to ride a wave. There's a trend of men of color being embraced by the queer community for liking trans women despite overwhelming evidence of their character flaws. Glaring signs that sex addiction, substance abuse, unchecked mental health issues, and inner demons are what drive men to bungee jumping of sex. Fucking or sucking a trans person, that's not love, period. What Malik paid me to do at 13 and 16 years old wasn't love. He's ignoring that I was clearly a child prostitute. That wasn't love. Paying for cheap thrills and secret orgasms. Begging for unsafe, unprotected sex from runaway trans teens while enjoying stardom as a successful artist and a businessman is not love. Where was this love for trans women over the last 20 years? Where was this... Where are his trans girlfriends? Something tells me I'm not the only one who got some dirt on this individual. And something tells me that he didn't just up and decide to come out. He was pushed. Careful not to make a fool of yourself supporting him and his message. I'm sure I'm not the only trans person who was a minor when Malik Yoba first loved them. Honey. All right, you guys just heard me read that. Now let me go ahead and play you guys the video. Y'all go ahead and check out what Mariah had to say. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We're not going to make people produce evidence and put victims in a situation where they feel like they got to prove shit because y'all don't do that to them white motherfuckers. But because I've <laughs> credibility is important, standing up for victims' rights is important, what I will say <laughs> is that this in-depth story... Okay. The only question is, because you guys are, you're doing too much mental gymnastics to try to come for me. Gymnastics. He's already admitted he's like trans women. I'm not the only one he's probably, he's turned. I, we just spoke to someone. We just, some, somebody just, so somebody that was like a cup recently outside of his house, called the other girl, talking about he turned her, he didn't want to pay her. That's recent, right? But if, if the press contact him, and they say, so do you have any proof you didn't have sex with her as a minor? Oh, no, because you were admittedly driving around the meatpacking district. Just so happens, Mr. Yoba, we happen to know this minor was running around the meatpacking district because she was suing the city in federal court for all other runaway teens. I am Joelle in Joelle A, the lawsuit that opened all the new foster care facilities. It's in federal documents that when I ran away from the group homes, I was in the village in the meatpacking district. It's in documents. Somebody want to believe that I just made it up? Girl, he's not even the biggest celebrity I messed with. And, 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 I, and I'll bring it for If we know he was in the West Village, y'all think I just decided to make it up because he's like a super popular celebrity? I've messed with a celebrity recently in the last five years that if, I, and I have receipts. I have a video of him fucking me. If I wanted to go be famous, I would have leaked that video. But he ain't do nothing to me. If I if I even hinted, look how dingy and nerdy I am. I fucked the nigga, didn't even know who. I, you know how you see somebody and you be like, oh, I know you. Bitch, I couldn't even place where I, bitch, he could have been from Fort Greene, Jamaica, Queens. Jer bitch, I just knew I knew this nigga. He, slur he banged me. Bitch, he held the camera. He held the camera when he was busting me. He shared the video with me unbothered. 
was was talking shit about him. He can't be seen in these streets. And I made a comment, bitch, I'm famous too. If I wanted to get famous, I would share that video of that rapper person <laughs> slaying me. That's not, why would I do that? He didn't do nothing to me. I would get more famous if I shared that video. Why would I do that? You think Malik Yoba's little ugly ass is a little uh, dry self? You know what he thought? He thought, let me go on pose and I'll never, and, and come out and I'll never have to pay for it again. <laughs> Cause the girls get, he don't like to pay. Not gonna lie to you, but she paid me that little bill, $80 sometimes, that little, bitch, that was cute, my little self. And if you'll get my hint, I didn't do have to do a lot cause I just, I was unable. If you get my drift, I was unable to do all the things father liked. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Mariah. So now if that's not crazy enough, Malik Yoba's ex-wife is also speaking out and she's really upset because she did not expect this. She knew that he was dating trans people, but she did not expect him to blindside her and her children with his admission on social media. So this is what the wife had to say. Damn it, I feel like Mother Goose today, honey, because I'm doing a whole lot of damn reading, okay? Y'all make sure y'all hook me up via Patreon or Cash App for all this reading I'm damn doing, okay? So y'all go ahead and check this out so Malik Yoba's ex-wife says at Malik Yoba as the mother of your two beautiful children you already know my support for you has always been unconditional I expressed that two months ago when you and I became aware of your current trans relationship why did you not have a conversation with our children and wait till last night to text your firstborn with this info? Yet you were preparing your public months ago on IG. Our children support you and keep so much of a secret of what really goes down with our family dynamic. I asked to meet with you over a month ago and you have yet to make time. So here I am. If you know better, then do better. Family is first overall. All right, so that is what she said. And that's clearly his baby's mother because here goes a picture of them back in the day when she was pregnant. And you can see Malik Yoba commenting on that post, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, he also did an interview with Claudia Jordan. The full interview is not out yet, but he did, you know, uh, she did release a snippet. And then he also called into V103 in Atlanta to basically state that he's not gay. That he's attracted to trans women, but that, that doesn't make him gay. So y'all go ahead and check out these two clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. What will you say to folks who would now question your identity or even label you as just being gay? I don't live for other people's label. People say what they want all day long. Short answer is I'm not gay. I'm not attracted to men. That's first and foremost. And for the record, trans women do not date gay men 99% of the time. I say I'm heterosexual. I love women. And... <laughs> I love women. We're talking to Malik Yoba about um, his truth, his side, his authentic side of the story, what he's involved with. In uh, I just want you to talk about that. And what made you do that? And what gave you the courage to do that? I was attracted to trans at 20, at 16, at 15, trying to figure out, like, what is this feeling? Okay, so I just saw a picture in a magazine of a person that has breasts. All right, so you guys just watched those two clips. So this is a lot to break down. This entire situation is crazy. Now, as far as that young man, Maurice, should he have been clowned and made fun of for who he wanted to be with? Absolutely not. If he wants to date trans women, whoever wants to date trans women or trans men, that is their business, point blank, period. Nobody should be shamed because of who they choose to be with, okay? Now, I wanna talk about the Mariah situation. Now, I don't know if everything she's saying is truthful. Hopefully, he wasn't out there messing with young trans people when, when they were 13, 14, 15, 16 because they were minors, they were babies. So, I don't know if she has any proof of this. You know, she could be telling the truth. She could be making up looking for attention. The whole situation is really disturbing. Even though if, that, if that's true, that's not okay. Trans, straight, gay, you know what I'm saying, biological women, nobody deserves to be abused and used sexually in that form. You know what I'm saying? A lot of teenagers run away. That does not make it okay for grown men to pay for sex from teenagers. That entire situation is really creepy. Malik Yoba has not addressed that yet. He has not said anything to Mariah. I'm trying to wait and see if he ends up addressing it, but he is not as of yet. 
All right, you guys, y'all know what that means. That means it's breaking news, okay? So Claudia Jordan finally released the full audio of her interview with Malik Yoba, and I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys here. During that audio interview, Claudia Jordan did ask Malik Yoba about the allegations from Mariah Ebony, the transgender woman who's saying that Malik Yoba, you know, had sex with her when she was a teen. And Malik Yoba is addressing that, and he's saying that those were false allegations. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this new interview. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I was attracted to trans at 20, at 16, at 15, trying to figure out, like, what is this feeling? Okay, so I just saw a picture in a magazine of a person that has breasts and a penis, if we want to get graphic, because that's where people like to go first. Right. Right? But trans is not about genitalia. So when you're a kid and you're just looking, or if you're looking at porn, or you're looking at representations on Jerry Springer of people just, like, there's, there's been very poor representations of what it means to be trans. Mm -hmm. But, like, I've become very close to some trans men. That is women who transition to men. Those are some of the coolest dudes I know. There's it, a lot it, of that it, that is, that makes it, makes people go deeper into the, I hate to say, into the closet and not want to talk about it. I have to ask you about someone that's being very vocal about you, and I don't know if you want to address this. Mariah yeah, Lopez Ebony is talking about... I have no idea. Like, And see, here's the thing. That's no different than a dude on fire right now in South Africa. Right. Like, when I see people, and, and unfortunately, you know, with all these smartphones, People are even dumber than they were before the smartphone. Is she lying so people, on you? Talking like trying to get clout off of you? I, I, let me let me let me get to absolutely she's lying, but let's it's not just the lie. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the type of lie. First of all, if you follow, I don't, I don't I've only become aware of her mm -hmm. through other people, right? Um, and I, I don't I don't know who she is. I didn't know who she is. I've seen online people have sent me stuff and. That's the kind of thing that we're talking about. It's like there's trauma so deep in people mm -hmm. that a person like that, I have no idea who this is. I don't have no idea why she would do what she was doing. But a person like that, mm -hmm. and there are many others that carry trauma, that they go, okay, so if I've been on the street or whatever her, her backstory is, and people have abused me or neglected me, I'm going to go for that one dude right. that everyone loves. And I'm going to say, he did it. He did this to me. Like, if You're you going to be a target history, now, probably, from a lot I, more of this. Well, I know that. I knew that. But all of my heroes, and my sister hates when I say this shit, all of my heroes are dead. So, Malik, just to, be, to clear something up. So, men that are attracted to trans women don't... Are attracted to women. Are attracted to, so, are it's not a gay women. thing at all. For you. It's not a gay thing, right? It's just... Trans, I'm trans women do not date gay men. Gay men do not date women. Okay. So that's why I say it's not the genitalia. But you know, you know your friend who's trans. You're trans attracted. You have a friend that's trans. It so I'm trans attracted because I have love for someone that's trans. Yeah, it, it doesn't. If people want to make it and simplify it as something that's just purely sexual, that's not what it means. What mm -hmm. it means is that I have people in my life who have had the courage, and trans people have superpowers. As far as what he said on the V103, that he's not gay, I feel like Malik Yoba is playing a lot of semantics. You know what I'm saying? And people love to say, well, there's a difference between gender and sexuality and everything else. But I'm sorry, if you are messing with somebody who is trans and you're of the same gender biologically, physically as them, you're gay. Like, I don't understand, like, why that's such a bad thing. Why can't he just admit that he's either gay or bi? Like, this person shares your same body part, okay? He even said in the Claudia Jordan interview that he's attracted to chicks who have breasts and then they also have dicks. So, if they have the same private part you have, how are you not gay? Like, I'm confused. I feel like there's a lot of semantics with this. And it just, it just really confuses me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be me dating a trans man because I'm attracted to men, but this trans man still has a vagina. So if I'm dating a trans man, does that not make me a lesbian or at least bisexual? I don't know. Maybe I'm confused, but shit like this just confuses me. If you're dating someone who shares your body part and you guys are being sexually intimate, is that not gay sex? Like, I... 
I don't know. I, I just can't keep up. 2019, honey. You know, it's so different nowadays. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so different. All right, we got some more news, okay? This Malik Yoba story is just getting stranger and stranger by the damn day. So now after this Claudia Jordan interview went viral, Malik decided to jump onto his Instagram page and he decided to like post this bizarre freestyle and he posted it. He also posted a caption and then within five minutes he deleted it. Delete all this shit. But not before us super sleuths got the video, downloaded it, and I'm here to share it with you guys, okay? So this is what he wrote on Instagram. He says, the real shit to all the fake news spreading haters, I still love you. Then somebody else replies, they say, if the rumors about being a John to underage trans prostitutes isn't true, why not just deny it? Then Malik Yoba says, it's really simple. You don't have to fight against something that isn't true. It will leave on its own. Then another person says this. Okay, being hard of hearing here, this video of you looked interesting, but I only caught some words. Like shit makes me known and trans women and trans man, but I don't know the rest of the message. Can someone translate what he said, please? So then he comes on there and he says, I basically said that people like to spread lies as truth and they will always lose if they do the negativity I have. And then the rest is cut off. But I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this rap <laughs> this freestyle rap that Malik Yoba posted, then deleted. Like I said, this story got more twists and turns, honey. Anyways, y'all go ahead and check this out. How quickly people love to spread news with no proof for child abuse. You confuse. I see you. You choose to try to make me lose, but I can't. If you try to stand in my shoes, you would lose. You can't win when you live in sin. When you got to begin where it begins again. In the beginning, I told you there was the word and the word said we will love and we will love each other. No matter what, you my sister, my brother, whether you be a trans man or a trans woman, man, I do not know. If you do not understand, yes, this is a freestyle. I'm feeling kind of wild off the top of my dome in somebody else's home. Leave me alone with your words and your comments and the shit you don't. Throw upon the dome as I think about it daily. Made me move deeper and deeper into my warrior spirit. Here I come. You're going to see it and you're going to hear it. You're going to fear it if you don't understand it. Lean into it so you understand it. See, because all of this is just the way God planned it. You the one that's confused. You the one that's going to lose. How you like that? Those little freestyle. You know, a lot of nonsense is floating around town the last few days. I'm like, what am I going to say about all this? I'm not going to defend myself. I'm going to dig deep. I'm going to lean into my creativity. I'm going to lean into the purpose. And the purpose is the service. That's all it's about. Love. September 27th. Love and Trauma Workshop hosted by yours truly and Miss Carmen Carrera. And on the 28th of September, the Trans March on DC. That's the only reason I posted the video in the first place, was to draw attention to an important subject, that visibility of all people is important. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, what you choose to do in your bedroom, in your home, that is strictly your business. You know what I'm saying? But I just wish he'd be more honest. You know, the whole, you know, I'm straight, but I date trans women. Well, then if you're straight, then what are straight men? You know what I mean? Like, okay, if, if a man is straight and he dates biological women, how are you straight too? Like, that doesn't make any sense. If anything, you'd be at least bisexual. You know, but I understand sexuality, gender, all that shit runs deep. But y'all can have fun arguing in the comment sections. I'm just giving you guys a platform to talk about this entire situation, okay? But yes, kudos to Malik Yoba for taking up for that young boy, Maurice. It's really sad that he felt the need to take his life. You know, it's never that serious. And people need to mind their business and stop harassing people who choose to love and date transgender people. That is their business. If you want to love biological women, honey, do you. If you want to love biological men, do you. But if you know somebody who, you know, prefers to be with trans men and women, women let them do them okay at the end of the day it shouldn't affect you that deep okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment 
Leave me your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Malik Yoba coming out and announcing to the world his attraction for trans women. But then how do you guys feel about him also saying that he's not gay? Because a lot of people are disagreeing with that. And then last but not least, how do you feel about his baby's mother blasting him, being upset about him taking this publicly before talking to their children? And then also, how do you guys feel about the trans woman Mariah who's accusing him of sleeping with trans uh, teens when they were young? You know what I'm saying? Now he's coming out and trying to get props for you know taking up for trans people when he was low-key sexually abusing trans people when they were younger so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe i want to know everybody's thoughts on this entire situation so go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces